Welcome back to Asia MP Solutions. Today's video will go through Firebase hosting and a little Hello World example. We'll call this Asia MP Lesson 1. It'll go through the whole provisioning process at Firebase itself. This may take a few minutes. I'm going to cut some of this video short. Now that you're in the main screen, you can go to Hosting and click Get Started. This will provide NPM information to run in the terminal. Now you can install the Firebase tools globally so that we can execute commands against Firebase. Here you can see that the command completed and we get some status information. If you have Firebase functions in the past, you need to do a couple of cleanup items. The next step in the process is to log into Firebase. Once you're back on your terminal, go ahead and type Firebase Logon and you will be prompted to collect anonymous information for Firebase. This should bring up a browser window. If it doesn't, you can take that URL and copy and paste into a browser. Then you will need to accept the CLI information for access and your login should be successful. You'll go back to the terminal at this point and see that you have successfully logged in. Now we're going to create a directory so that we can initialize a project. I like to do this in my downloads folder because I often clean that up after all these lessons. Go ahead and CD into that directory so that we have the project at the correct location. You can see that it is empty, so we're going to use Firebase init to go ahead and create the base Firebase initialization. In this screen, you'll see multiple items that you can select. At this time, we're just going to choose hosting, so you have to arrow key down and then hit spacebar to select it. If you're new to Firebase, you probably won't have as many projects as I do. But if you do, you have to scroll down to the correct project that we're going to be working from so that the Firebase uh, file knows where to access it. It's going to ask you a couple of questions. For example, we're just going to use the public directory, and it's not a single page app like Angular or React. Um, we're just going to use straight HTML. You can see now that we have a Firebase RC, which holds all the information for connecting up to Firebase, as well as a Firebase.json, which talks through our project structure itself. Here's the main files in our public directory. We're going to go ahead and do Firebase deploy and it should run all of these files up to Firebase hosting. Once that's complete, you should be able to access your project console again in the URL directed here or the hosting URL at the bottom. You can access the site itself. Once you bring up the browser, you're going to see a hosting directory. If you're like me and you forget that you're in the wrong project, go ahead and switch projects up at the top left here. Get into the correct one. You'll see that deployment right in the middle section there uh, where it says current with the star on it. That is what we just deployed out to the web. Don't be surprised if the files has zero listed. This is a small bug, I think. It, it takes a second to catch up and count the files. But you'll see, here's the base Firebase deployment initialization page. At this time, we're going to go ahead and open up VS Code. If you have it installed in the uh, command in terminal already, you can just type in code space period. With VS Code open, you can see our base project files in that public folder listed. Um, we're going to open up index and go ahead and just carve out everything that Firebase put in here. Um, this is assuming that you'll use the database and messaging and everything that you might need in Firebase. Um, that's not necessarily true for a, a Hello World app, and we don't need all of that extra stuff that's in there.
Now that we're back down to just a body tag, go ahead and write your hello world. I'll throw in a, a little flavor for A. John P. here with a link. Now as a little side note, you could go back into terminal at this point and go ahead and run the Firebase deploy command. Otherwise, in VS Code, you can hit Control tilde and it will open up a terminal right within VS Code itself. Now we're going to go ahead and type in that Firebase deploy command and you should see it pick up our files that have changed. There you go, and it's already deployed out there. Now most of the time you'll see this change instantaneously. Sometimes the CDN has a little bit of cache in it, so you need to uh, wait for that to clear out. Now if you go back into the hosting and refresh the page, you can see that there's two deployments and that we have a new deployment on the top. Please come visit agentp.com where you can see all of the recent lessons as well as multiple lessons on each category. Thanks again for coming to see your perfect solution.